All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm excited to be here with you today because what I know about being in business today, um, the world has completely changed. And uh, my name is Joe Trimble. I'm a regional small business leader for Wells Fargo Bank, and I have the privilege of supporting small businesses across a vast area um, San Diego being one of those um, regions that I cover, but um, it gives me an opportunity when I have a, a broader worldview to really understand and dive in deep with business owners, um, hearing from them firsthand about what it means to be in business today. And fortunately for me, I have a very extensive background. Um, I started Wells Fargo almost 20 years ago. Um, I picked this organization because of some family who was already um, here and, and, and brought me in. But um, one of the major components of what has kept me working for Wells Fargo is the focus around small business. And after growing up in a family of small business owners, I realized that what is needed the most is really an organization that can provide um, not only the day-to-day -day services um, like our great chambers can, and I know the San Diego Regional Chamber um, does a lot of that, but it, there is some onus on a business owner to continue that learning opportunity um, by really gathering and identifying those key resources that they can use to operate their business. So today, my goal is to give you a better sense of what um, Wells Fargo um, can provide in the form of resources um, for customers of ours and for non-business customers um, because we know just how important it is um, to be able to get this information um, in the hands of those that can use it. So if we go to the next slide, um, I'd like to start by introducing you to one of my favorite resource platforms that I use in the regions that I cover um, called wellsfargoworks.com. And in the text chat today, um, I did include not only my contact info, um, but this resource as well as one additional one because what these two represent is our commitment to you as small business owners. What we want to do is not only deliver a wide range of products, um, but but we want to add in to that educational component of, uh, that, of that critical point of when, as a business owner, you can continue to grow your business around key areas um, and areas today that have um, consistently remained at the top of our business owners list, but also have changed and, and need some adapting from our business owners. So today, I'll show you a quick glimpse of this resource and what's available. Um, but um, when we leave here today, um, what I hope happens is I've inspired you um, to want to use this tool as a way to continue to grow your learning. Wells Fargo Works is a simple but easy way to really identify topics of importance for your business but more importantly, give you the opportunity to focus in on growth, really focus in on capital, and more importantly, focus in on that strategy component of what we know it takes to operate your business. So let's jump to our next slide, which gives you a graphic of what wellsfargoworks.com is. Now, um, this is not everything and we're not doing this live. So um, if you would like, while we're chatting through today, Feel free to go out to your browser and look up wellsfargoworks.com. I'll be pointing out these great resources, um, but um, what, what, what I hope to inspire you around are the key topics that we'll cover today um, that well, right now we know based on um, what our customers are telling us are important. And that starts with the planning piece and really adapting your business and really looking at it from the lens of the life cycle. Um, the good news is we have free resources um, like our business plan tool, um, which allows you the opportunity to revisit your business plan if you haven't done so yet. Um, what I love about this tool is its ability to not only help you write the plan, but it actually gives you insights based on your industry type on what you should include in your plan. And we're working to update um, some COVID-19 information into it 
um, to give you that strategy lens as you're rewriting or revisiting this plan for your business. Um, it also will walk you through effective marketing and cash flow strategies. Um, it talks to you about how to build and access credit. Um, it focuses on keeping track of the competition and it helps you identify ways to manage the day-to-day -day responsibilities. This platform is mobile-based um, and we do have offer it in an alternative language, um, which you'll see at the top of the page, um, if that is important to your business. Um, let's jump right into the next um, slide, which will focus on planning. When we think about planning today, um, it really does represent some key components of small business. And as we navigate um, a slide forward here, um, we'll get to what that planning snapshot looks like. Oh, there's a few reveals. So let me get through those real quick. Um, yep, one more and we're back on track. Um, but what we know is most every major company today was once a small startup with a powerful vision. But other ventures remain small even as they prosper. What they will have in common is the passion of a business owner to turn an idea into a functioning, profitable reality. Whether you dream of building an empire or simply making a, a, a living, the issues, decisions, and tasks involved in starting and running a business are the same. There are so many details to cover when starting a business or even when planning for business improvements or growth. Becoming a good student of business and taking advantage of the tools and resources available to you in every business stage may help you um, set yourself up for success. Um, the wellsfargoworks.com site planning section contains articles, videos, infographics, and other tools that will help you during this planning stage of your business. We'll dive a bit deeper into this section in a few moments. Um, as we think about setting the stage and as we navigate to the next slide, um, one important topic that I've had conversations with business owners today around is understanding their customer journey. And um, we went out and did some um, realistic uh, data surveys of, of businesses across the country. And what we realized is even if you understood the customer journey for your business in January, it is completely different today because customers' needs and mindsets are different. While people have felt the impact of COVID-19 in unique ways, it's safe to say that everyone's life has been altered and our habits have changed significantly. Research from the Harris Poll at the end of May looked at how Americans expected to act through the end of 2020 and beyond. At that time, 54% of Americans said they wouldn't travel for leisure in 2020, which could affect any business catering to the travel and hospitality industries, as well as restaurants and entertainment. 83% of Americans said they're more likely to exercise at home than go to the gym. 25% um, said they intend to go to movie theaters, though 75% said they prefer to watch movies at home. Um, these, these are really key statistics that will set the stage on my next topic here, which is truly re-navigating this landscape by understanding the competitiveness um, in your industry. Um, as a complement to that business plan tool that I talked on a couple slides ago, um, we actually have teamed up with the SBA or uh, a component of the SBA called Size Up to offer a competitive intelligence tool that allows you to dig into your business by learning more about how you size up to the rest of your industry. It looks at revenue and annual revenue of your business, not only in your city, but your county, your state, and even your industry type based on SBA industry averages that we've populated into this tool. Um, it does this by learning more about your business, especially the year you started. It digs into your salary and wages for your employees, um, which we know right now, um, even with uh, the, the circumstances that are, are facing us um, with that workforce starting to return back to work um, in the landscape uh, and really your, your opportunity to provide employment has become, in, has become even more competitive because of the availability of jobs um, in the areas that you support or in the communities that you serve. It will dig into cost effectiveness. 
It looks at your revenue per capita. It looks at local turnover, healthcare costs, and even workers comp. Um, to me, that's where, as a small business leader for Wells Fargo, um, interacting with business owners, we knew that we needed the most support. When you're a small business, having to go out and pay for statistical data works if you're at a place to know what statistical data you need and that's going to impact your business. If you're not there yet and you're still in that diagnosing period of time where you're learning more about what you can do for your business, here is that resource that gets you started down that path that allows you to learn more about where you're at in relation to your small business. And all of that is located on the small business or planning tool section of your business. And as you start to dig into these components on the next slide, um, there are some concepts, um, really five tips that I'll throw out there on the screen um, that will show you um, what it takes today from a lender perspective to be in a place where your business can showcase that, that, that you've learned how to reestablish yourself and how to enhance what we refer to as cash flow in the banking world. Um, so, yep, um, it, it, as we navigate through these reveals, we'll see on the next slide, um, the first tip that's out there is all about accelerating your inflows. Um, and this has to do a lot. And, and when you're considering in your plan, um, the goals that you want to set for yourself. Um, this one talks more to the processing your invoices and how you offer your customers payment options. Um, one of the biggest changes that was made um, as we started in this new landscape was really learning how to be safe, but also provide a safe environment for our customers to do business with us. The second tip I'll throw at you, which again is part of our competitive intelligence tool, on wellsfargoworks.com are resources around how to monitor your cost. Um, the next is around how you watch your outflows. Um, the fourth tip is around covering taxes. And then the fifth one is probably my most important one and the one that I talk to business owners the most about, which is the time is now to challenge everything that you're doing within your business. Um, and not just challenge yourself, but are you getting the maximum value for every relationship that you have? Now, I'm a banker, um, so when I think about it from that perspective, um, you know, my questions to you, and these are really more to reflect upon, but have you had a conversation with a banker recently, your banker, your relationship manager? If you don't have someone who's invested in your business from a banking standpoint, that is a number one task that business owners are sharing as a recommendation because within that component of what we do, um, we do have um, an ever-changing landscape just like your business and things for us change as well. And being up to date and understanding those changes is important for your business. Plus, um, we are very well involved within the SBA and how money is funneling through from them to us. And I know all major lenders um, and micro lenders um, have had an opportunity to provide that paycheck protection program support. And as we enter into or get ready for forgiveness, having that banker relationship will, uh, will benefit you in the long run, making sure that you're prepared and you're equipped to handle what that process will look like. And that challenge, everything even goes beyond that. Um, it goes to, um, have you talked to your mentor recently? Have you talked to someone at your local chamber within the last um, month or three months? Um, all of those challenges are really, as a business owner, how you start learning more about what you can do to impact your business. And our site, wellsfargoworks.com, will not solve everything, but my hope today around how I'll inspire you to use the tool is to really access it as a guide. Um, again, it's a free resource. Um, it takes concepts and simplifies them. Um, and we'll go to our next slide and move into an additional concept that today I feel is very important for our business owners, um, which is focused on marketing. Um, we have a tab on our wellsfargoworks.com site that is dedicated to helping you grow your business 
by providing you with the information you need to make determinations about this marketing strategy. But it will also help you learn more ways on how to integrate a marketing strategy to reach customers in this new environment. I shared on a slide a few, a few clicks ago that talked about how consumers have changed in their, even in their buying habits. Do you know how your customers' buying habits have changed? If not, this is a great resource for you to understand how you can reach those, your current customers, but more importantly, um, how to provide your in, improved product or service into a marketing tactic that attracts new customers um, and really provides ways on how to track that in measurable outcomes so you know if that strategy is working or not. Um, this tool helps you provide those great resources. And then um, as we shift to the last two topics on the next slide, um, th these are quick. Um, the management tab will talk you through how to understand more about your current cash flow situation today. It helps you focus on understanding um, some ways to better manage employees, um, especially with um, the, 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 the lines that we've seen in emotions and um, how things change so quickly and being equipped to not only lead as a business owner, um, but lead in a way that supports team member engagement and really creates a better team member experience. Um, and you can see some other functions from this portion of, this, uh, of the site um, that will walk you through those key concepts. Each one of those tiles is something that this section does. Um, what's in there um, is up to you to navigate through. Um, there are quick links, there's infographics and videos that will help you learn more about how this business environment looks like for your industry. And then last, but probably one of the more important sections of the site is our credit section, which focuses on how to discover more about credit. Um, there are so many different resources available for credit that I added this slide um, just as a reminder that traditional lending is not the only vehicle to obtain money for your business. Um, there are community development financial institutions, there are micro lender, lenders, there are grants. All of these are resources that I feel go underutilized in the small business community and that I feel is important enough to have an entire section on a website dedicated to showing these resources. And if you're like me, an analytical or like statistical data to prove a point, um, in the text chat, I included not only my contact information, but I included two resources. And um, if we go to the next slide, um, on the Wells Fargo Small Business Resources link that I provided, um, there are some additional understandings about the current environment in relation to PPP, but there are also information about other SBA programs. Um, and it shows you from a business industry perspective, statistical data on, on what was achieved and, and even more importantly, how those funds were used to continue to strive, th may help their business thrive um, even during these challenging times. And um, these are all resources that are available. We know PPP right now um, is in, that, is in that, that gray area until we get into the forgiveness period. Um, but we also know that there are talks um, potentially, and this is fingers crossed, that there will be additional support coming. But um, this is a constant and ever-changing landscape when we think about it from a lending perspective. Um, and there are always resources that business owners can use. And in this section of the site, there are great resources that help open the door to those additional ways um, to help your business grow. All right, um, the last slide, and as a reminder, um, for those of you that are just joining, um, one of the important takeaways today, if you haven't done it yet, talk to your banker. Um, have a conversation about how they can help support your business as your relationship manager. Um, their, their goal, and, and I know speaking from a, um, as just from an industry perspective, this is our number one priority is to be in this with our business owners, but we can't do that if we can't reach you. So um, as a takeaway, um, definitely lean on your banker um, and talk through a couple items. And I gave you two suggestions um, to start. Um, talk about your interest rates on your lending vehicles today, and then also talk about how we can revisit those repayment terms. All right, 
Um, I am going to pause and with our last few minutes um, before I turn it back to Katie to talk us through the rest of today's agenda. I'll open it up and see if there are any questions from the group. Joe, it looks like you have a question from Elizabeth in the chat box. Are you able to see that? I am, yep. So do we have any idea of when we'll know more about additional PPP type programs? Okay, so I, I figured we'd get some questions down this, this vein. So I, I brushed up and did some homework and um, not yet with a date, um, but I do know that a part of the new stimulus package that is being considered um, it does talk about an additional round of PPP funding. Now, what that looks like and how it will work, um, I'll just talk to it from a banker perspective. You know, thinking about us at Wells Fargo, when we kicked off PPP, um, we had to mobilize over 3,500 people um, to really help us start with the processing, um, but more importantly, to, to control the influx of the applications that were coming to us. Now, I always joke, I, I, I always say it in a, in a joking way, but we were literally building the stagecoach as we were driving down the road. And to me, what that means is I don't believe forgiveness will start until um, that second round of funding is done. Why? Because I'm not sure financial lenders can not only do forgiveness, but also do applications at the same time. I'm not sure if SBA has that bandwidth to be able to do that. Um, so I would guess that the stimulus would need to be approved with that additional support, which right now there is not a date, but keep your ear to the ground, especially as um, we hear our sessions kicking off where these talks are being had. But just know from a banking standpoint, um, my peers in government relations are advocating for this based on small business owner feedback. We get that, there, that, that what was provided was great, but it wasn't enough that we need to continue to do but great question. Um, it looks like we have another question. What sort of banking accounts would I want as a small business to set me up correctly? If I don't already have that, could I create and apply if PP becomes available again? What sort of banking accounts would I want as a small business to set me up correctly? Um, I'm thinking your question, Stephanie, and um, feel free, you can take yourself off mute. Are you thinking and how to manage the PPP that you received? Is that what we're thinking? Hi, yeah. I, I've heard about smaller businesses who don't have, you know, a robust banking account instead of, you know, the micro businesses that just are relying on maybe a personal checking account. Um, if I'm a, if I'm going to try to apply really fast for the next round of PPP, if it does happen, what, how do I set myself up for success on the account side? Yeah, perfect conversation to have with a relationship manager who can support your business, but. Um, most financial institutions offer some form of a small business checking. At Wells Fargo, we do as well. And the way our accounts are structured is to minimize the cost related to doing business for you and your small business by also incorporating as some additional benefits um, that expand beyond just the traditional checking through programs like wellsfargoworks.com and our Small Business Resource Center um, because those tools we know offer their own level of value. But um, to answer your question, um, if I'm a small business, my number one goal is to minimize my cost, especially when it comes to my banking relationship. So the first thing I would do is identify the account structure and what it provides me um, and how I can do business. But at the same time, is it the cheap, cheapest way for me to do business? And that's the number one thing I look for if I was a small business inquiring with any financial institution. Hopefully that helps, Stephanie. And I know we're getting close to time, um, but I did provide my contact info in the text chat at the beginning. Um, I can cut and paste it one more time, just put it at the end here so no one has to scroll. And then um, if you all have questions beyond this, um, we can definitely chat more um, we'll off. Um, I'm based in New Mexico, but I support New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and Southern California. So. I support over 500 